One cubic foot of marble weighs 160 pounds. A cylindrical marble column is 2 feet in diameter and 12 feet tall. So we've got a column made out of marble. So this might be a column for a, a building, but it's big. It's 2 feet in diameter and 12 feet tall. And the, it's a cylinder, and we're told that the volume of a cylinder is pi times the square of the radius times the height. So that, that formula written out looks like this. The volume is equal to pi times the square of the radius times the height. And that's a standard formula for the volume of a cylinder. And you might recognize this pi r squared as the area of the circle. That area times that height gives us the total volume. So now let's do this calculation. Pi is a 3.14. I'm just going to write pi. The radius squared, the radius here is one foot. We're told the diameter, two feet in diameter. So that means one foot is the radius. So it's going to be one foot squared times the height. And the height is given as 12, 12 feet tall. And you can see here, we have feet right here and feet squared right there. So we're going to end up with cubic feet. This is pi times 1 squared, which is just 1, pi times 12. That comes out to 37.7 cubic feet. Now that's the volume. We need to know how many pounds of marble it contains. And we know that each pound or, or excuse me, each cubic foot is 160 pounds. See how the problem opened here? One cubic foot of marble weighs 160 pounds. So there are this many cubic feet, and each one weighs 160 pounds. So this is the calculation. 37.7 cubic feet times 160 pounds per cubic foot. And you can see the cubic feet cancel out and we're left with 37.7 times 160, that many pounds. And that comes out to 6,032 pounds. So that's heavy. As you would expect, a marble column 12 feet tall would be expected to weigh a lot. Then we're told to find the pressure in pounds per square inch. Now notice inches here now, pounds per square inch, that the column exerts on the ground. Okay, this column is two feet in diameter, so that means the radius of the column is one foot. And I'm going to write that as 12 inches. That's the radius of this column. So just from the center out to the edge is, is 12 inches right there. And we're dealing with inches. Then we can find the area. And this will be the area of that circle, the area of the bottom of the column. The area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. So this is going to be pi times 12 inches squared. So we're going to end up with the area in square inches and the 12 and the inches is squared. So this is pi times 12 squared which works out to 452 and the inches is squared so that's square inches. That's the area in square inches. And now we can calculate the pressure. Pressure is force divided by area. And the downward force acting on this area is the weight of the column. That's the force we calculated up here. 6,032 pounds is pressing down and spread out over 452 square inches. And there you see pounds per square inch right there. And so we just do this calculation. 6,032 divided by 452 comes out to 13. 13 pounds per square inch. That's the pressure that this column is exerting on the ground. That doesn't sound like very much pressure, and it's not, but that, that many pounds, 13 pounds, is exerted per square inch, and there are a lot of square inches right there. So overall, it's a lot of force, a lot of downward force on the ground.